Hey Space Engineer, in this video I'm gonna show you how to use my script called Antenna Message Sender and Receiver. Previously there was two different scripts, one for sending and one for receiving messages, but I decided to merge the two scripts together. The new script is available as the updated version of the receiver script. If you are not here from the Steam Workshop, then you can find the link to the script in the description. But let's not waste any more time and get into the tutorial. With this script, basically you can do two things, start or trigger timers and write text to LCDs remotely. I'm gonna use this rover and this small platform behind me as an example to how to set up and use the script. In this case, the rover is gonna be the sender side and the platform is gonna be the receiver side. First, add the programmable block to the receiver end. Load the antenna message sender and receiver script to it. Click check code. Press OK, then use the start as argument and run the script. This will start the listening sequence where the script checks for new messages in every 100 game ticks, which is around 1.3 seconds. Note that somewhere on the grid you should have an antenna as well in order to receive messages. You doesn't have to add it to the script, it just has to be there. Now open the custom data and search the address of this block. Let's copy it, because we'll need it soon. Now the receiving side is basically done. Let's go to the sender side. Load the script to a programmable block on this end as well. Check code. In the sender side you have two things to do. First open the custom data, then search the receiver's address and paste the address of the receiver's block here. This will test the script where to send the messages. The script can send a message to only one address at a time, but it can receive any number of messages from different senders. To apply the changes to the custom data, use the refresh command. Next, the sender side also needs an antenna, but to send a message you have to actually add it to the script. To do that, add the slash transmitter slash tag to the name of the antenna, then use the refresh command. Good, the antenna is found. You can find this tag in the costume data, and if you want, you can modify it. However, it's not necessary, because the same antenna can be used by multiple scripts. Now the script is ready to send a message. To send a message, you have to use the right argument. The sending argument has three parts, and they are separated with a semicolon. The first part is always send. This tells the script that you want to send a message. The second part is a tag, but leave that empty for now. The third part is the text of the message. Let's write something like, don't explode please, then run the script to see what happens. As you can see, the receiver got the message. If you are not seeing the message here, then you might be too far. Remember, we are sending the messages through antennas, so you can only receive a message if the sender size antenna has enough range to reach the antenna on the receiver side. So we got the message, but how to use a timer or else it is with the script? Well, that's what the tag part of the sending argument is for. If you add the tag to the message as well, then the receiver will look for blocks with that tag in the grid and will try to use them. Let's place an LCD. 
then add the slash test slash tag to its name. I will use the refresh command here. I'll explain it why just in a moment. Let's go to the sender and send a message with a tag this time. Let's say that I want to write to the test LCD that it's working. I write send slash test slash and it's working. Run it. There it is, it's truly working. What happened here is that the receiver got the slash test slash tag with a message, so it located blocks with that tag and saved them to its memory. This is to increase performance, since finding blocks is a relatively performance heavy operation. If I send another message with the same tag, then the script will know that there are already blocks with that tag in its memory and will not search us for blocks this time. If I would remove the slash test slash tag from this LCD and send a second message, then the script wouldn't know about this and it would use this LCD again. Even if I place another LCD and add the test tag to its name, then the script will use as the first LCD once again. To tell the script to look for new blocks, use the refresh command. I recommend that you use the refresh command every time you change anything with the blocks that you want to use through the receiver. You can use any number of LCDs with the same tag, and you can use any number of tags on the same LCD. But let's continue with another example. Let's say that I want to open this hangar door from the rover. To do that, I will use a timer block. First, let's make a group from the hangar doors. Then, add the timer. Set up actions, find the group, and add it with open close. Add the slash hangar01 slash tag to the name of the timer. Refresh the script. And now, if I send a message with the hangar01 tag, then the receiver should find the timer and trigger it. Let's see, and the hangar is closing. And now, if I send another message, then it should start to open. Nice! You can send a message from a cockpit as well, if you add the script's programmable block to its toolbar, you choose run, then you write the right argument. From there, you can open or close the hangar door with a press of a button. If you want to trigger a timer, you can send an empty message or a text. However, if you want to start a timer with a delay, then send a number as the message, and the delay will be that number. Just like with the LCDs, you can use any number of timers with the same tag and any number of tags on the same timer. Also, if you want, you can use the same tag on a timer and an LCD. In this case, the message will be written out to the LCD and the timer will be triggered or started based on the message. You can also use other LCDs, like a cockpit's LCD with the script. To do it, then choose a tag and add it to the cockpit's name. Then open its custom data, write at a number, a space, then the same tag that you gave to the block. The number is to tell 
which LCD screen you want to use on that block, starting with zero. Also, don't forget to refresh the script if you want it to look for new blocks. I'm gonna send a message from the platform to the rover this time. Obviously, it's not gonna work because this script hasn't been set up for sending yet and the rover script is not listening for messages. If you remember, for sending, you need to set up two things. First, add an antenna to the script. Second, you need the address of the receiver. Since I'm here, I start the listening sequence for this script as well. Let's paste the address. Then refresh. Now everything is ready. Let's send a message. Is it working? Well, it is. Actually, you can use multiple screens in the same cockpit if you add more text to its name and set up the costume data accordingly. Since you can trigger timers remotely, you can do many things with the script. It's on your imagination, what can you come up with? If you have any questions, you can either write a comment to this video or write a reply to the discussions on the workshop page. As for this video, I'm signing out. Huh, no exploding this time.